In this video, we are going to understand two things. One is, how do you use a quadratic formula to find the roots of a quadratic equation? Okay, and then look at two examples of this particular thing. Now, a standard quadratic equation is of the format ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. We know that a quadratic equation can at best have two roots okay and the way you can find these two roots directly by using a quadratic formula is by applying this formula so the roots can be found out by minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a where a b and c are basically the values which are assigned over here now there are two roots so root 1 can be minus b plus this thing and root 2 can be minus b minus b square minus 4ac divided by 2a now in this entire thing what is important is this expression b square minus 4ac whenever you use this method to find out the roots first you should find out what is the value of b square minus 4ac if this value is less than 0 okay what this means is that the equation does not have any real roots okay now let us look at some example to understand how this formula can be used to find out these roots. Now you are given x minus 1 upon x is equal to 4, right? So if you take x as the LCM, you get x squared minus 1 on the left hand side and this is equal to 4. Or you can simply write this as x squared minus 1 is equal to 4x or x square minus 4x minus 1 is equal to 0 right now if I choose to compare this against the standard quadratic equation the value that I get is a is equal to what's the coefficient of x square 1 b is the coefficient of x which is minus 4 and c is this value which is minus 1 right so if I find out the roots so first root is going to be equal to minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a right let me just find out this b square minus 4ac for you b square minus 4ac is equal to minus 4 square which is 16 minus 4 times a is 1 and c is minus 1 right so this gives you 16 plus 4 which is 20 right so the roots which we get are minus b which is 4 plus square root of 20 divided by 2a which is 2 times 1 or 2 right if you want to simplify this you can write this as 4 plus root 20 can be written as root 4 into root 5 or 2 root 5 divided by 2 if you take 2 common you get 2 plus root 5 divided by 2 2 goes out to cancel with this so we get 2 plus root 5 as one of the roots of this equation right if I have to find out the second root of this I'll have 4 minus root 20 divided by 2 right same way if you resolve this you get 2 times 2 minus root 5 divided by 2 and this goes and this goes so you will have 2 minus root 5 as the second root so you have 2 plus root 5 and 2 minus root 5 as the root of this particular equation which we have found out using the quadratic formula.